Hey guys, this is Vishal. So the goal of this video is to understand the Mule Requester component in MuleSoft. Basically, it enables you to request a resource at any point of time in a flow. This activity of requesting resource can be anything like loading a file, consuming a messages from queues or pulling data from mail server on demand. Moreover, its usage is not only to request a single resource, you can also request a collection of resources. If you want to have a more insight on mule request, you can hit the documentation link given. Now let's move forward and see practical use of mule requester. Alright, before going ahead with the actual implementation, we need to download this mule requester plugin from this URL and install it in AnyPoint Studio, since this mule requester component is not already present in our mule palette. So once you have downloaded it on your local machine, you need to go to AnyPoint Studio go to this help tab click on this install new software again click on this add button here you need to mention the path where you have downloaded that plugin click on this local mention the path click on ok and go ahead with the installation i'll not do this process since i have already installed that mule requester module now I'll take a simple case of requesting a file resource and printing its details on console. So let's say I have a file called employee underscore details present in source main resources employee underscore files directory. This file contains some employee related stuffs like employee name, ID, department, date of birth, salary. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to read this contains and print on a console using mule requester. So there must be a question on your mind is that why do we need to use a mule requester since we already have a file connector component in MuleSoft present to read file data. Well, file connector allow to read file only at the beginning of your flow. If you are using a file connector, then you have to put it as a first component in your flow. It is not suitable to read the file contents in the middle of your flow. So for that purpose, we're going to use mule requester. So I'll start creating flow for it. So the first component I'll be leading is a HTTP listener. It's pretty straightforward to configure HTTP listener as we have seen it multiple times. So let me drag it into my mule palette. Inside property, the connector configuration, I click on this add button. I'll be taking the same host and port number 8081 click ok inside path I say request txt file txt all right file let's let it be allowed methods as get okay second component would be mule requester so I click drag it into process section now Let's say display name, I'll give it as a file mule requester. Now, inside operations, there are two operations given over here inside this drop down. One is requesting a single resource, and second one is a requesting collection of resources. So, I'll first start with requesting a single resource. So, click the first option. Okay. All right. Now, resource is nothing but the address of my file so it's lying in source if it's a file we have to start with file colon forward slash two times and then path source main resources and then employee underscore files and then employee underscore details dot txt all right timeout i'm gonna save it as it's now return class is nothing but the class in which you want to tr put the payload of the, your requesting resource so i'll keep it as a java dot lang dot string so i'm gonna convert the payload of my file content into string format so the return class is java dot lang dot string i check on this throw exception on timeout that's it the configuration for mule requester is done now eventually let's add one logger just to print the content of our file so uh, logger and here 
let's say file content r and say payload that's it our flow is created let's go ahead and test it so let me start my server R run as mule application all right so application is deployed so let me clear the console and go to the postman inside here i'll just mention request txt file so this is my request get method it is so i click on send button now as you can see it is returning me the content of that file we are requesting so if i go to the browser you can see down over here the payload we're printing so this is the content of our file now if you check the logs properly here you can say mule requester starting one connector called file connector basically it's a thing that mule requester is just requesting a resource but in order to read that we need to have an actual connector since we have not provided any kind of a file connector to read that contain mule or mule requester itself take one default connector so that is the one connector it's printing over here to read that contain in case if you want to have our custom connector we can add it so let's go ahead and add that connector so let me shut down my server go to the global elements and here we'll create a file connector so i click on create I say file connector connector configuration I click on ok here I'm not gonna give any values just inside the settings the auto delete checkbox is checked so that it will delete the file from that location the moment you read it so inside advanced let's say we'll move that file to a different location once we read it so move pattern is the same we want to give original file name and as we know in order to read original file name we'll have to write expression like message dot all right what happened okay message dot inbound properties dot original file name okay let's say move to directory as a source main resources employee or backup file let's say let's go files all right so click on okay okay if i go to the configuration xml there must be a connector has a name so this is a file connector or this has a name to it so i'll change this name to a file connector to be more specific and i'm going to refer this file connector in in my mule requester so here inside the resource property you have to mention it like question mark connector and then name of the connector okay all right i clear the console now let's create that backup folder over here so folder here let's say backup underscore files all right now let's start this application run as mule application
all right okay so application is deployed so let me clear the console switch to the postman and hit the request again so there won't be any changes in result it's just a thing that we are using a custom connector this time so i click on send button i'll get the same response now if i go back to any point studio inside logs here you can see it is taking the connector i have provided in mule requester now if i refresh these folders this file has been moved to backup files directory so this how we can use the mule requester component along with the either custom connector or a default connector to request a resource okay next i'll create a flow for requesting collection of resources for that purpose i have created a directory called file inside i have added a two extra text files one is account details and second one is a transaction details so i'm going to read the details of all three files using mule requester so let's get started for that i'll create a new flow starting with http listener configuration will remain the same it's just that the path will change so let's say request text resources text file resources let's say this method as get okay second component will be mule requester so let me click it drag it into process section now the operation will be request collection let me enlarge it inside resource i'll give the location of my directory this time so for, for that purpose starting with file colon forward slash two times source main resources files all right timeout will same return class as java dot lang dot string okay count is the number of files or resources you're going to read from the directory so there are three files so i'm going to read all of them so three i check this throw exception on timeout all right now i'm going to pull transform message component i'm using this transform message component because the reason is from this mule requester i'm going to get a payload which has which will be having details for three files so that means it would be a collection of three payloads so with using transform message i'm going to flatten that so the output type i'll keep it as is application slash java and here i'm going to flatten that payload so flatten payload whichever i'm getting from that mule requester all right then i'll just add one logger and since after this transform message i'm going to get output in java format but i want to print it in string format for that purpose i'm going to use message dot payload as so it will transform that payload into whichever class or whichever format you want so i want to transform it into a string format so that i can it should be readable i save it all right so flow is created let me just copy the this request path name okay make sure the files are present in my files directory okay i'll start the server all right so application is deployed 
so let me clear the console go to postman for that let's create new request http localhost 8081 and just i'll clear this path and paste the path i have given http request text file resources i click on the send button once i clicked it i'm getting a response in java format because inside the transform message we have mentioned the output type as a application slash java so this is all my file details so if you see carefully starting from this till this location i guess till this location it's a content of first file from this to this location this is the content of second file and from here till this this is the content of third file if i go to any point studio inside log you can see the clear details of all three files which is getting printed on console so this is how we can use a mule requester to request collection of resources in mulesoft thank you for watching